Access to artificial intelligence is skyrocketing. So is the danger AI could pose to U.S. elections. Technology experts say it is, it is a, quote, no-brainer that AI will be used to try and influence our elections. And we know right now it's already happening. So the big question is, how can you spot fake political messaging? Chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is getting you answers. Can now call the 2024 presidential race for Joe Biden. Just hours after President Joe Biden announced his re-election bid, the Republican National Committee released this video warning four more years would be bad for the country. But the images of war and despair in the 30-second ad weren't real. The RNC admitted the ad was built entirely of images created using artificial intelligence. The RNC included a small watermark in the corner of the video disclosing it was built entirely with AI imagery, but with tools to create fake text, audio, or video now readily available to anybody on the internet. Companies that track AI believe it will be increasingly misused to influence U.S. elections. There is no doubt in my mind. Cybersecurity firm Zero Fox said AI has already hit international politics, including Turkey's most recent election, where manipulated video footage was allegedly used by Turkey's president to influence public sentiment against his main opposition candidate. Zero Fox Chief Development Officer Brian Ware is the former assistant director of cybersecurity in the U.S. government's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. In the hands of an adversary that wants to sow uh, discord, that wants to cause doubt in the, again, in the veracity of the elections, or wants to push a message that might be a fringe message, but give it amplification, th those are the areas where I think we'll see these AI tools. Ware said it doesn't even take perfect fakes to mislead people. In fact, cybersecurity firm Checkpoint says there can be noticeable signs an image is computer generated. AI has particular trouble recreating hands. Count the six fingers on this hand. But the more data someone has to create, the AI image or video, the better and the more realistic it will appear. So somebody, a public figure like Trump or Biden, uh, there is, you know, millions of hours of, of video and audio of these individuals that can be used to train the AI. What guardrails are there in place to kind of limit the misuse of AI in our political system? It's a great question that there probably isn't a great answer for. Experts say journalists play a huge role with segments like WUSA 9 and parent company Tegna's Verify, an invaluable way of flagging and debunking political AI fakes, because they say, at least for now, AI is a lot easier to use than it is to counter. The Brookings Institute says AI can help political adversaries more effectively target that small number of undecided voters who often swing an election or even spread phony messaging aimed at keeping large voting blocks at home on Election Day. Eric Flack, WUSA 9.